Fridays and Saturdays are completely shut down, today being Friday. What I mean by shut down is just, unless there's something that's pressing, I'm off the grid completely. I do my best to avoid all social media, totally focused on the words, surrounded by books. I've got some books here, I've got some other books at home. But um, Friday's a day, Saturday's a day where it's isolation for me. I just, and gosh, coming up on 32 years of doing this, isolation is the key, in my opinion, because it allows it to be a time of just perpetual, constant prayer when you're putting the message together. It's a stillness, it's awesome. It's where God ministers to me before I ever get a chance uh, to minister to anybody else from the Word. Today's uh, June 26th, and that's a Friday, and as we're heading towards Sunday, just marinating in the Word of God and what we're going to be teaching on in 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 10 to 22, where Peter's warning the church in the last days regarding false prophets, false teachers, and their conduct. How it's breaking down for me is to warn the church regarding what Peter's talking about. Watch out for the proud. Uh, look for those who have the conduct of the forsaken. They have a lifestyle. Wherever they go, they're destructive. And then it's going to end that they are those who conduct themselves in the genre of the damned. They are condemned. God's word lays it out graphically. And I got to tell you, it's needed in this very moment for the church. So much deception out there, in and out of the pulpit, in and out of the pews, overwhelming deception. Second Peter chapter 2, everybody would do well if they immerse themselves in that. And we'll do it on Sunday for sure. So I approach uh, putting the Word of God together, a sermon, probably I would think much like a person might put together their masterpiece for a meal, maybe as a chef. What I do is I gather data on Friday. It's, it, it's just pure data gathering. What are the Greek or Hebrew words? What are the correlating verses in Scripture? Are there uh, illustrations in the Old and New Testament to back it up? Really laying out the possible uh, armaments, skin, call it, right, muscle, that's going to go on to the message. Then Saturday is a day of more honing. When I say honing, I mean that it's the day where now I've developed an outline. Why? Because the words have been speaking to me from Friday. So now it takes on some structure. I've got an outline. And that is something that comes together. And I got to tell you, anywhere from, you know, 20 to 30 pages of notes at that time, but then comes Sunday morning. And so Sunday morning, I approach the scripture anywhere between 2 to 3 a.m. I take all that I believe God has given me from those 25 to 30 pages. Everything is reduced down to what I'd like to view it as what's going to be fed or launched down to 10 pages. That happens between 2 a.m. and about 5.30, 5.45 a.m., where I just sense strongly that this is what God has given me for the flock. Now, in, in these hours, so it's been from like 3 to... Uh, to right now where the message is going to be uploaded and it gets to uh, the translators and all of those that are involved. But now what's great for me is I know exactly what I'm going to be saying. It's burning on my heart and I just can't wait to get to first service. There's a great release in delivering the message for the first service and then second and third, of course. But it's in the oven now. It's about ready to be served. It's happened in me first. I can't think of any other way of doing this. If it's not first um, experienced in me, I, I don't know how it could ever make a difference. So I thank God for the way that he's arranged uh, his word in my own life, let alone in the lives of his people. So today's just going to be, as always, a time for him to be faithful to us. But he's so good. It's, a, it's amazing to me.
Hey, so this is the end of the day. It's close to um, 2.30 right now. So it's been a 12 hour day, which is precious and exciting, but it's all come together. What is it? Church, literally active, engaged people of God with the people of God. That's what the word of God does. And so people are sharing. I've had a chance in between services, nonstop, going from the message to greeting people outside in the courtyard or in the foyer, and then coming right back in here and going right back out all day long. Why? The people are absolutely doing church. It's a little bit of heaven, and uh, it means everything to the Lord. And you can tell, you can feel the presence of God when His Word is exalted, the Holy Spirit shows up in power, and the people of God have that koinonia of the Holy Spirit. So it's been a great day. The fruit of tomorrow morning is laying back as it's my Sabbath on Mondays, and it's to thank God for what He's done. I hope this has blessed you, the day in the life of uh, a teaching pastor, which I'm so honored uh, to do to the Lord's glory. Amen. God bless you.